All right, guys, you know what time it is. Let's do this. Before we begin, check out Reebok's latest shoe. They have a limited Ghostbuster collection that comes in all sizes for all ages. I just think it's really cool. So you can find those online now. One more thing I need to share before we begin. The Rock just made his debut in rap and it was actually really good. The song's called Phased Off and it features Tech 9 and I'm just gonna leave the link below. It's seriously good, check it out. All right, so first off in Pokemon, the card illustration contest just kicked off where you can submit your card creations to have them featured in next summer's lineup. Once again, I'll leave the page below if you'd like to make a submission. Then in Pokemon Go, we just kicked off the Halloween event, which brought in the next part of the season of mischief. So this event's going to be going on until the 31st, which of course is Halloween Day. And for all your Pokemon Go updates, you'll find those at the official page, which I will leave the link below. Okay, now on to gaming. So PlayStation Plus subscribers can look forward to a little bonus next month. So they're going to be adding three VR games in addition to the two that come out each month already. Uh, they haven't announced which games yet, but this is their way of celebrating the VR's fifth anniversary. So there's a little extra to add to the library next month. And there's actually just one more gaming announcement here, and it's to do with the Nintendo 64 and Sega expansion on the Nintendo Switch. So we haven't gotten a date yet, however we have found out the price of the subscription. It's going to be $50 annually or $80 for the family. It's still very reasonable, so that's all good news. And with that, the classic controllers have gone on sale for pre-order for their release on the 25th. Now my guess is this is going to be the release of the expansion as well, considering they did say it's going to come at the end of October and the 25th. I mean, why would they release a controller with nothing to play it on, right? So I just think that really lines up. So that's all for gaming news, really. I guess we'll move forward to movies and streaming. First off, I want to remind you guys DC Fandom is taking place, probably now. It's taking place today. So they're going to be making plenty of announcements, as we know. And once again, I'm going to post a link below on where to watch that stream. Okay, so this week in movies, Halloween Kills was just released to theaters, as well as Peacock for premium subscribers. So if you're a premium member, you can access it at no additional cost. So that movie's available now. Another movie coming up is Marvel's Eternals, which tickets are now on sale if you would like to see its theater release on November 5th. Next in movies, there's finally a trailer for the Scream sequel, which is set to take place 25 years after the events. So this movie will come out on January 14th, and of course you can find the trailer below. Next, I want to remind you guys CSI Vegas just premiered last week on CBS which is also available on Amazon Prime as the edition of Stack TV. <laughs> this one's just really exciting to me, and I'm going to leave the trailer again, so check it out below. <laughs> Next in new series, there's a new clip for The Wheel of Time, which is an Amazon series based on the book by the same name. So this show begins streaming on November 19th, and you can find the teaser below. The next new teaser trailer that was just revealed is for the upcoming Hawkeye series that's coming to Disney+. Plus. So the first two parts will launch on November 24th, and you can find that clip below. Another miniseries that just came out this week is called Just Beyond. So this is an eight-part horror anthology from the mind of R.L. Stein, and so far, it's been good. I've been watching it. It's pretty much just as expected. It's, it's R.L. Stein shorts, you know, like, it's good. It's just good. You should watch it. So all eight parts are available to stream on Disney Plus now, and with that, I'm also just going to leave you a little trailer below. But seriously, watch this one. <laughs> okay, I've truly saved the best for last year. It was just announced this week that Netflix is going to be rebooting that 70s show. But this isn't the 70s anymore. It's going to be that 90s show where we're going to be following Eric and Donna's daughter as she explores her grandparents' home in Wisconsin. <laughs> so yes, Red and Kitty are going to be playing a large part of this show. Seriously, this made my whole week. And uh, there's no release date yet, but... Of course, we're going to be on top of this one. I just can't wait to see what they do with it. Seriously, I'm a 90s kid, and the show aired in the 90s. I mean, after that 80s show flopped, I think they've had so much to learn from there, and I'm just, I'm really excited for this one. I think it's going to be good this time. <laughs> and just to remind you guys, for all your Netflix and Disney releases for the month, you can just find those in my separate videos here. Okay, guys, that's a wrap for this week's Nerd News. If you like this video, remember to hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more content each week. Or check out some of my other videos, like my latest nature adventures. Thank you so much for watching, and stay safe out there.